Would you be willing to share like a small snippet of that you wrote that's been donated? I think it might be interesting for people to have a a connection to the art. Yeah, so that is the first wolf sighting in, in this werewolf book. And I can just read a small excerpt from it when the main character, she doesn't know that well actually you know what i don't think i should read it <laughs> i'm not sure if it's a good idea <laughs> i could i could just read some that i don't i don't think it's i think it's okay, okay i'll just try let me go back to the first the previous page I'm not what you're expecting, am I? You don't want me? Before Noah can respond, a glint of eyes appears behind him. I scream as the same massive brown wolf lunges for us, sinking its teeth into Noah's back. My eyes squint as Noah crashes towards me, but the impact I brace for never arrives. When I open my eyes, shock zaps my system. Noah pins the hulking wolf to the ground by the neck with one bare hand. His clothes burst, the fabric streaking over his expanding body in rippling ribbons until they shred under pressure with a loud snap. But beneath his clothes isn't the skin I expect. His body morphs into a new inhuman form, fur, claws, a dark snout as long as my entire body. An enormous black wolf emerges from Noah, snarling at the cower cowering wolf beneath him. Reality bends and I'm reeling with it, but I don't have time to. The brown wolf snaps their jaws, ready to tear into Noah the second his black, towering form meets it face to face, and I have an opening to run. But no matter how terrified and confused I am, everything in me screams to protect Noah. As the wolves tumble, I scramble across the forest floor, searching for a large enough rock. When Noah pins the strange wolf to the ground again, I throw with all my might. The rock hits the brown wolf square in the head, and Noah's ears shoot upright in su surprise. Then he looks at me. Golden, piercing eyes spike my heart down to my knees. Okay. <laughs>